proclaim or recited before. And it's, it's, the reason is because it's a speech or the it's message of God. I know it's, a it's, a, it's a message directly from God. Okay. That's the difference between revelation and inspiration. Because okay. poetry and prose can be inspirations, yeah. whereas a revelation is a direct message uh, from God to Prophet Muhammad So, in Christianity, Christians believe that we're all made in the image of God. Is that the same in Islam? What do you understand by that statement? Uh, so God looks like no. human beings? No, <laughs> even the Christians <laughs> don't believe that. Yeah, they do. I think it's more to do with, uh, there are certain things, there are certain similarities, okay. uh, but they vary in degrees. Okay. For example, you can hear and see, mm -hmm. God can hear and see. Okay. That doesn't mean God has to look like you. Okay. See what I mean? So, what do you think God looks like? We don't know. Okay, you don't know what God looks like? No. That's, I mean, some Christians also don't know what God looks like, but because there's no specific prohibition of creating images of God in Christianity, in Catholic Christianity at least, there's lots of it's, images of God. It's, it's actually the second commandment, not to create graven images of your Lord. Yeah, there is a, <laughs> the second commandment, like, but in, in the Catholic Church over history, that's I proven know. to be very loose. Like, you've got... Yeah, they, they have... Uh, you know, probably they don't follow that second commandment. Yeah, they, or, they don't. Or they, they don't have issues with having new to idols in the Vatican. Yeah. I've been to the Vatican actually, yeah, I've and I've seen, I've seen a lot of things which shouldn't be in a religious place over there, you know? Okay. And that's quite, but that's, that's a, you know, Catholics are a different yeah, no, kettle of fish. Different. They're a different kettle of fish. Yeah. Um, oh, I, was, I just forgot what I was going to say. So let me ask you, do you believe in, uh, I know you don't, you, you don't, kind of believe in God, but do you think there's a possibility there's a God? Yes, but okay. there's also a possibility that when I come home in my house, I will find £10 lying around Okay. the sofa. Well, the £10 will go so much, but if you have God, then it's your eternal salvation? I mean, that's a non sequitur. Me saying the possibility of God existing is the same as me finding £10 behind the sofa, you know, it's just yeah, sort it's of... Yeah, apples and oranges. It's the same, it's a random possibility. Uh, no, no, it's not a random possibility. Like I, like I t asked you, when I asked you about the universe, you didn't have a plausible answer. Yeah, it's just sort of... I mean, so you're, for you, your, your solution is, okay, uh, let's just ignore it, yeah, you know? You just if, it. if that is the case, so let me ask you something. Oh, okay. If yeah. you die, yeah. and there is a real... God yeah. and a real life after death. Yeah. Then what? Well, I haven't killed anyone. And so, what does that mean? Well, I'm not a murderer. And I haven't committed adultery. Right. Um, Do you know what is the biggest sin in Islam? What's the biggest sin? It's not murder and adultery. Okay. Or even rape. Okay. The biggest sin is to disobey and to reject God. Okay. That is the biggest sin. Shirk. Yes, sir. So shirk is in a way you reject God, you associate partners with Him. All this constitutes the biggest sin in Islam. Okay. And the reason for that is because God has given you life. Okay. Is even though you don't believe in Him, okay. you go about your daily life quite happily, I would say. Yeah. yeah? Right. You breathe in, breathe out the air that God has given you. Yeah. The sustenance that is given you, you enjoy that. Yes. Yeah. But then you're you don't show any gratitude for any of that. Okay. Yes. Now imagine you're working for an employer. Okay. And then instead of showing gratitude to the to the person who pays your wages, I mean, I really who looks show, after you. I personally don't show gratitude to my employer because I'm a Marxist. Uh, oh, you don't have a job? I have a job. Uh, Marxists can have jobs. It's just, you know, I don't have a personal relationship with my employer. Oh, would you betray your employer? I don't betray my employer. That's what I meant I by... Fulfill my that's what I was going... I fulfill, I fulfill my contractual obligations to do my work to a good enough standard in exchange for, you know, money because they own the means yeah, of production. That's what I call obedience. Okay. <laughs> so you are in obedience to your employer. I guess I am. Yeah. That's so the, like the, the reason I gave this analogy is to show you that if you are disobedient to your... To, to the employer who feeds you, yeah. who, who gives you wages, yes, and uh, because of whom you have a good life, then it would be unfair, would it not, if you're disobedient to your employer? Um, I mean, with my employer, personally, I don't think it would be that unfair, but that's because I have my own issues with them. But I guess in terms of the analogy... I meant disobedience. Yeah. What, what I meant by disobedience is like, for example, let's say there's some trade secrets, uh, that your employer wants you to God okay. as being a part of the employment, mm -hmm. part of the company, and then you go and deceive your, or, or, or kind of backstab your employer okay. and give, it, give the information, internal, in, inside information to your competitors. Would that be something your employer would be happy with? No, 
Okay, so that's what I meant by disobedience. Okay. So you have signed a contract, which yeah. means, I'm sure it has got a lot of clause, yeah. Yeah. the do's and the don'ts. Yeah. Yes, that's the whole idea. So when you are living a life to the fullest, okay. like you are, then I think it would be similarly unfair to the one who created you, who gave you the sustenance. And this, we believe, is God Almighty. Okay. Yes? So the universe just didn't pop into existence from nowhere. Okay. Yes? So there's, there's actually a scientific method to this. Okay. It's called inference. Okay. Where, for example, um, if you... Inference and the scientific method are different things. Well, it's part of the scientific method. Not really. Are you saying no scientists use inference? I'd say they, uh, they use hypothesis, yeah. not inference. You can infer from a hypothesis, but it's not necessarily... So if you can infer, that's the whole idea of inference. Yeah. So they give you a hypothesis, like, so you yeah. can infer from it. I mean, a, a sandwich, you know, isn't just the ham, it's the bread and the butter and the lettuce and whatever. So like, you know, they're not necessarily... Yeah, but inference, I don't think any scientist will say, oh, in science you can't use inference or deduction. Okay, it's, it's all part of science, I'm telling like, you. The experiment has to, you know, inform your inference. Yeah, when you get so the experiment which I was, not experiment, more like the inference which I was uh, alluding to here, since the universe cannot create itself, since it didn't come from nothing, the only other possible explanation is there must be a necessary being who brought this into existence. Okay. What do you make of that? Uh, a necessary being, which necessary means, being. which means that necessary being is not dependent or contingent on anyone else. Oh, sorry, microphone. Yeah? Oh, you can take the Quran, you can read it at home. Yeah, no, no problem. Home. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, what does, Allah, what does your God think about climate change? Climate change? Yeah. Well, first you need to believe in God before you ask what he thinks about X, well, Y, and Z. Well, you believe in God, right? Yeah, I do. So you can tell me. Tell, okay, what do you mean by climate change? Um, human beings having an impact on the planet, burning fossil fuels, trashing the environment. Oh yeah, abuse of the climate? Yeah. Definitely a no-no. Okay, what does your God think about uh, <laughs> tolerating other gods in the neighborhood? Oh, we don't believe in any other gods. So there's no question of other gods. So what does... These are all made up by men. Oh, okay. So, so it's, like, it's, it's like me saying, what do you think of uh, the unicorn that you imagined? Okay. Do I care? It doesn't exist. All right. Okay. So for me, the only existence uh, out there which is uh, real is the creator who created all of us and all of this existence. And he's the almighty God. And besides him, there is no God. In fact, you know, when, the Muslim, when somebody comes into Islam, they actually recite this, uh, you can call it a formula, or this um, uh, this particular which we call the shahada, uh, and this is there is no god besides Allah. There is no god worthy okay. of worship except Allah. What does your god think of? You know, how does your god tell you to act when you meet someone who has a different religion to you and is very happy with that religion? Uh, we we guide them towards the truth because we know what they consider as the truth is not the truth. Okay. The reason for that is because, look, if you pick up any religion, I don't know if you've studied any, I have. you will, which one have you studied? Catholicism and Judaism. Okay, so. So a GCSE level, which is the equivalent of like high school in the UK. All right, so with regards to Catholicism, they believe in the Trinity. Yeah. What's your view with regards to that? Uh, I mean, they believe that, uh, and it's a, it's a concept in their religion, and I had to learn it for an exam to get good grades. Yeah, I didn't ask what they think about it, I asked what you think about it. I don't believe in God at all. I know, but even then you asked me these questions. Okay. Okay? The reason I asked if you've studied any religion is because you're somehow making this assumption that there are other religions which could be true. I mean, yeah, there could, there, be, there could be. There could be religions out there from all these religions who, have contra who contradict each other. Yeah. Like for example, Judaism and, and Christianity. Yes? In one religion, they completely reject Jesus, Judaism. In the other religion, Christianity, they put uh, Jesus equal to God, the other extreme. What, does, what do Muslims do? We neither reject nor put him to the status of God. Okay. We, wish, uh, we uh, uh, respect him as someone who is a servant of God, who is one of the mightiest messengers of God, and he's the Messiah as well. Okay. okay. So we take a position which is neither rejecting Jesus nor le raising him to the level of God. Okay, I think we've kind of gone down the wrong. What I really want to know, yeah. how does your God tell you to act when you meet? So when you said guide, guide's a very like loose term. What does guide constitute to you? How would you guide someone? 
Is it a personal thing or are there rules or is there... That's the rule book. Okay. That's where, where the guidance is. Where? In the, in the Quran. Where? All of it. All of it? Yes. All of it at once? Open any page and you'll so, find the guidance there. So if I read one page... Go on. Read any page, you'll find guidance there. Inshallah. Okay, no, but like, when you say <laughs> guidance on... Guidance means showing you what you should do in your life. Okay. What, for example, it shows you the, just like your contract, it has the do's and the don'ts, okay. which we call the halal and the haram. So I only need to read, so in theory, I only need to read, only need to read one if it's all in there and it doesn't matter if I read no, no, no. one of it. No, you don't pick page. and choose. Okay. You you take the whole package. I take that, so I have to read all of it? Yeah. But when you sign the contract, did you say I don't like this clause? Okay. Uh, when you, for your employment? No, you didn't. Pardon you had to, I you had to sign the whole thing to so get the job. <laughs> so is there a specific, so it's a book, right? It's a book. There has to be verses in the book. It's not all about the same thing all at once. No. There's a narrative to a certain extent. Yeah. Where in the book, right, does it have the rules on how to interact with people who have a different religion to you? Uh, it tells you, for example, there are people who are pagans. I'm, That's I'm, a different... I haven't there, even finished yet. Is there a chapter? Uh, yeah, chapter two. Okay. Surah Al-Baqarah. Right. Okay. Thank you. That's what I was trying to... No find. problem. Thanks. So it, t it talks about people who used to worship idols. Yeah. And Allah tells them that this... These do not benefit you. These are the things which your forefathers named. Even the names that they gave to these idols, they are actually the names your, your forefathers invented. Okay. And it's nothing to do with the truth. So Allah is calling the people back to the truth and identify the true God to have eternal salvation. Okay. Say for example, I mean, you know, look, one day we all will die. Yeah. Yes, you know that, I know that. Regardless of whether you believe or disbelieve God. Okay. okay? Now the question is, what happens if there truly is God and there truly is life after that? Are you just going to say, I don't care? Yeah. So you don't care about, your, you, 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 do you know anything about risk factors? Yes. So do you take a lot of risk in your life? Yes. Right? And have you been bitten by that risk? Yes. Okay. Shows you why you shouldn't take risk unnecessarily. What's the risk if I don't believe in God? If you don't believe in God and you die upon that, Okay. yes, Provided you understood the message yeah. and then you deliberately reject it, yeah. then the end result for that is hellfire. What kind of like, it's like you know? So Trust me, any kind of hellfire is bad. My mom's you don't have to say which kind. Degree heat. I'm very any white. kind. My dad's Irish. I burn a lot. Bro, Fact any of kind of hellfire. What kind of hellfire? Any kind of hellfire. Literal fire, fire metaphorical fire. No, no, literal, literal. Literal fire. Yes. Like uh, 100 degrees Fahrenheit fire. How much can you How much can you tolerate? Um, have you tried it? No. What guy taking risk? I wouldn't be surprised well, if you did. Well, we won't know until. Have we you get tried? There, have so. you? Tr would you ever try jumping into a fire? Yes. Okay. I think uh, we know the we know the so kind of person you're watching. I endorse jumping into fires, lighting matches, wearing polyester, and going near open fireplaces. Brother, eat lava, light scented candles, and just leave them. Yeah. Brother, please don't have children. I'm gay. I will not have biological children. <laughs> okay, good. So, even for a gay person, taking risk is illogical. Not really. It's, really? It's not Do illogical. the other gays agree with him? Well, I think they'll disagree with you. What, say, I just... Would you, would you actually tell... Let's say you had a child. Yes. yes? Would you tell them to jump into the fire? If they wanted to. <laughs> uh, I think you need to see a doctor. I, you know, I'd love to, but the government that we have right now isn't paying them enough, so that's like, you know... Well, you got a job. I do have a job. So seek, a, seek some help. Profes Absolutely Professional not. help. Because it's the... Because if you're telling people to jump into fire, okay. then there is something definitely wrong with you. All right. Regardless of your sexual orientation. Right. What's your God's view on the government doing things to help people? I think you, you need to read this book. I would prefer it if you... And then come me. and talk. Okay. Okay? Because right now, look, what's happening is like... It doesn't matter what yeah, answer no, I give going, you. No, no, no. Circle. It doesn't matter what answers I give you. Yes. If you're just going to reject everything, it's pointless, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And that's the kind of person you are. Yeah. Okay, so maybe take life seriously. No. Okay? Because one day, when you are in a situation where you have to take life seriously, you will reflect back on this. Okay. And, no, I don't take life and remember, seriously. If okay. I was in court, I would take court seriously because I can, you know, you're physically in the courtroom. And you can see the presence of the Lord. Oh, you like you only fear punishment. I don't fear punishment. I wouldn't be disrespectful in a court of law that has, you know. Do you, do you work in law? I don't work in law. I work in a warehouse. In a warehouse. But it's only a gap year job. I want to go to university next year. Okay, that's fine. No problem. So maybe once you graduate, then hopefully come and have a discussion. What degree should I do based on the Quran? Just off the top of your head. Islam. Anything to do with Islam. 
well, theology? <laughs> well, he asked me from the Quran. What, yeah, no, what do you expect I, me to answer him? I, no, I'm just, I, but there's like, you know, there's no degree. Of course, there's lots of degrees I mean, in there's theology. Lots of degrees, there's lots of degrees in Islam, but should I take theology with Islam or theology with a... Uh, yeah, I think theology and Islam, okay. good combination. That way you can see from the Islamic perspective how it treats others, other, other people of other faith. You know, one thing... I don't know if you, um, maybe, may, maybe you should go and listen to the last sermon of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he actually gives you a lot of information maybe which might help you. For example, he says uh, the black are no better than the white and the white are no better than the black. The Arab is no better than the non-Arab and non-Arab is no better than the Arab. Which is showing you that you should be respectful to everyone. Yeah. But at the same time, the one in the sight of God Almighty that really stands out or the one that God really prefers is the one who is God conscious. What does that mean? It doesn't mean you just sit in the mosque and pray all day. No. Being good to your neighbor, even if he's someone like you who is free, you know, taking lots of risks and <laughs> not believing in God. If you're my neighbor, I should be, my religion teaches me to be nice to you. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And also if you are, if you go to sleep hungry and I don't, then I'm not a good Muslim. Yes? yes, this is the level of education about treating other people, which our faith, which Islam gives you. But at the same time, it doesn't mean like if your enemy is coming to attack you, you let them walk over you. Okay, okay? we have the right to self-defense as well. Okay. Right. And the same goes with um, anything else. For example, there are many things which are prohibited in Islam. You probably know them. Yeah. Yes. Alcohol. The usual alcohol, pork. Yeah. Drugs. The all these things. Other stuff that's fornication. Fornication. Uh, adultery. Uh, adultery. And all these things. Yes. All these things. If you look at all of them, if you study, for example, alcohol, you know, earlier I was having a discussion with another atheist guy, and he says to me, I will believe everything the scientists tell me because I only believe in scientism in a way. And then science. I asked him, okay, so if science tells you yeah. that alcohol is bad for you, yeah. what do you do then? He goes, uh, well, you know, he tried to say that, oh, I look for another scientist who tells me that if I drink wine, it's good for my heart. <laughs> See what I mean? So I mean, you know, it doesn't matter what, yeah. human beings are selfish. Human they will look for the selfish, um, whatever the needs are. Okay? So even if the most logical argument or the most logical scientist out there tells you with all the research in the field, and they have actually done a research about alcohol, I think it was a 30 year study. And they found out that no level of alcohol is safe. Okay. Right? But do you see anybody listening to them? No. Including those people who profess, they only believe in science. Even they will abandon science because of their own selfish requirements and needs. Okay? Okay. It's just a firework. Okay, it's a firework. So, yeah. And the same thing with adultery. The same thing with fornication. You know, because adultery, what happens is like if you are a happily married couple and all of a sudden because of your own selfish needs, you go and desire another woman to whom you are not married and you wreck this marriage and it destroys the children and destroys everything. Yes? Do you know anyone who is divorced? Uh, yeah. Yes? How is their life? It's alright. Alright? Yeah. So they're happy? They have yeah. children? Yeah, they have children. Right? The children are happy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe it's an exception. Yeah, but no. most, most of the time, many of the marriages which break down, yes, the children suffer, okay. the spouse suffers. Yes, and there's a lot of uh, problems. Okay. And this is all because of maybe something like they had alcohol and abused the spouse or they had an extramarital affair, yes, which brought them to that situation. Or maybe gambling. You know, gambling is another thing which is forbidden or haram in Islam. Okay. So all the things which are forbidden in Islam, all of them, they make sense. Is it okay if I keep asking you questions about what is and what isn't allowed? Yeah, are you okay to be on camera now? Yeah, I'm okay to be on camera. Alhamdulillah. Still fully we converted him. <laughs> fire everywhere. Set everything on fire now. Um, uh, ignore that. The guy's crazy no, when not, he says that. I'm not crazy. You're boring. <laughs> um, right. Women's access to abortions. Yeah, what do you say about that? I think uh, it is uh, legal and medical rights. Right. And I think every woman should have access to the healthcare that they desire. Right. So, would you be okay if your mother aborted you? Well, I wouldn't know because I wouldn't be alive. Exactly. Would that make a difference to the world? No. So, you're basically pointless yes. existence. Yes. Are you a nihilist? Maybe. <laughs> He's a nihilist. I mean, we don't get that many here. <laughs> but hold on, if your whole life is purposeless, yeah. why do you do anything at all? Well, I put my coat on so I'm not cold. Right. I eat so I do not die. Why and do also being hungry is annoying. Why do you go to uni? 
Why do I go to uni? I like books. I like being alive. Yeah, but you don't need to go to uni to like books. Yeah, well, I want to. Why? Because I, I do. No, but you said your life doesn't have a purpose. Well, I want to. What's the purpose then? Well, I just want to. Okay, but I thought you said it was because of the books. Well, I like, I like so there's reading. a purpose, come on. What, Everything uh, has a purpose. Like, does it? It does. Does it really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Give me any part of your body that doesn't have a purpose. Appendix. Okay, actually they do have a purpose. What's the purpose of my appendix? You have to go and ask a scientist but, about like, this. A like... I'm not a scientist. Oh, okay. But they have found reasons that why the appendix is necessary. Okay. okay. I have a skin tag. On my What's ear. that? This is a little pointless part of my body, and I don't know why it exists. I could get it removed if I wanted to. Yeah, but I'm t when I say your body, obviously, the body that... Uh, the whole, all of the, it. Yeah, all okay. of it, yeah. The organs, all the things, yeah? Okay. Everything has a purpose. I mean, a, sing a simple thing like your eyebrows have a purpose. Yeah. Do you know that? It stops sweat getting in your eyes. And your eyelashes have a purpose. Yeah. So everything has a purpose. Okay. doesn't matter what. Why would you not have a purpose then? As a, as, a, as a person. It's just like, I mean, do you have a purpose as a person? Yes, I do. I'm a Muslim. Okay. My purpose in life is for me to be obedient to God. And that because, that, because of that obedience, okay. like I explained to you about the things which are forbidden, for which makes sense to us, taking care of your neighbors, all that for me forms a part of my obedience to God. Okay. Does that not but why do you not have a purpose? I really want to know. It just sort of if everything in your body has a purpose, why do you as an individual not have a purpose? Well, because I get to, and it's my choice to not have a purpose. It's just no, no, I don't think, look, there's a difference between choice. Okay. You know when you wake up every morning? Yeah. Is, is there a reason you need to wake up? Eat a shit. Sorry? I need to do a poo. Is that the purpose in your life? I can't poo in my bed. Of course Gross. you can't, but yeah. what I meant is, the reason I asked you that question is not that you go to the pool, which is your need, which you have no choice but to go to the pool, yeah. whether you like it or not. So that's not your purpose, that's your need. Okay. You see, yeah. to eat is your need. Okay. To feed yourself is a need, mm. otherwise you will die. Okay. Yeah? To drink water is a need. Great. In fact, to go to the pool is also a need. Fantastic. There you go. Yeah. So and once again, what is the purpose in your life? It just sort of is. Why do you wake up every morning? Because, you know, it's just, you know, it's, the sun's nice. I like to see my friends, I like to play music, right. I like reading, uh, I like coming to London, I like coming, I like our democracy, I like that people can come here and just shout at each other. Sorry, you like democracy? Yeah. Oh, you're a Marxist who likes democracy? Marxism and democracy are, you know, they're not mutually exclusive. Okay. But do they always like democracy? Uh, in previous examples, no. Yeah. By the way, do you know Karl Marx used to come here? Yeah. <laughs> Speaker's Corner. Yeah, he used to he come did. here. He went everywhere. For those who didn't know. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, look, all I'm saying is that if, if there is a life after that, remember I told you about burning in hellfire, but there is the other part as well. Would you not like to be in paradise if there was one? If you had a choice between hell and heaven, which one will you pick? Well, I feel like I'd have to have like a sample first to make an informed decision. You know when you go to an ice cream shop and they, like, they give you little spoons? Have you never sampled fire? Uh, yes. How did it feel? Hot. Did you like it? After a bit, yeah. Oh, really? Shall we try it now? Yeah, anyone got a lighter? Has anyone got a lighter? He likes burning things. <laughs> Let's you burn yourself. You want. You know why? Because for you, your life is very dear. And I know this without you telling me. Okay. Okay? Right. So you'll never burn yourself. Right. Neither would you want to burn someone who is dear to you. Be it your family member, be it your child. Uh, that's another kettle of fish. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that realistically, which one would you prefer? A place of bliss or a place of torture? Well, I can't know until I've had both. Torture. Okay. You don't need to know torture. It's bad. Okay. Okay. Is torture good or bad? Bad, probably. Probably? <laughs> I, I really, I really You're the joke, you honestly. There's a lot of... <laughs> and maybe you, you enjoy some sort of torture. I don't know. You got some... Uh, I don't know. What's it called? Some sort of um, fetish or something that you enjoy. Uh, no, he doesn't actually. I took a free Quran. Uh, just, yeah. I mean, I was interested in like you know how it's been translated into English. I like languages, uh, and I didn't know that that was indicative of my greater purpose on this planet. But um, you know, it's reassuring that maybe it is. Uh, yeah. No, but look honestly, like if if you had a choice in life to fail or to succeed, you would pick success over failure, would you not? Well, I'd have to have both to know. So it's oh, you are a lost case. I, maybe I am. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I did. He doesn't care. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't care either way. <laughs> so look, if 
success and failure itself is a problem for you. Okay. What's your name, by the way? Uh, I'm George. George. Yeah. Okay, no problem. George, nice speaking to you. Nice but, speaking to you too. But uh, hopefully, once you graduate, we would like to see you again. Maybe, you know, university does great things to a person. To you have, you, you mature. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just go for it. Yeah, go for it. in the middle of the sea. And nobody could help you. Who would you ask for help? All the fat in my body, because it keeps me buoyant. No, I'm asking you. Who, who would uh, it'll help you sink as well. <laughs> it'll help you sink help you faster. Okay. Um, I live in the sea and there's no one around me, right? Yeah. And as far as I'm aware, God doesn't exist. So, you know, I can't. I'm not, I'm not even asking about whether God exists or not. I'm okay. asking you, who would you seek for? No one. No one. It's it's a really a bleak. Do you not do you not treat your life precious? Sometimes. Sometimes. When I'm in the mood, you know. Or the mood. So so at one point you want to commit suicide. No. He, he said he's a nihilist, so Maybe. What, what more you want? You're a nihilist. <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, it is that bad, right, based just on what he said. you're in the plane right now. Yeah. Okay? It's going to come down, crashing. What would your heart say? Wouldn't you seek for help? I mean, my heart wouldn't say anything. Because it's not Your mum is not around, your parents are not around, your friends are not around. So who would you ask for help? Was Where it? Would you look? Oh, it switched off? Would you look down? Would you look okay, up? no problem. The oxygen the memory full? That comes from the oxygen mask. What if there's yeah. no Guys, don't forget to subscribe to Dawa Wise. Inshallah. Well, I wouldn't ask anyone. I'm speaking. <laughs> look, 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 look. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I, I know what you would do. Who I know. Would you ask? I would ask. Your creator. Because you know from your natural inclination, okay. you know there must be something.